Hey Divas, it is Coach Twy here with Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. Super, uber, over the top, excited to jumpstart June with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Ladies, it is June 1. It is the first of a new month. It is the last month of the first half of 2022. We will be finishing the first half of 2022 together and I could not be more excited. Hopefully, all of you have joined the Diamond Diva Hood group. Hopefully, those of you who are already in the group, who are already members of the group, are excited about our June challenge and are planning on participating. If you are watching, if you are live, if you are excited about June, or if you're excited about this challenge, please, please go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know that you are watching. Let me know where you're watching from right? Let me know what city you are from. Get to know some of the other ladies who have joined the group. So even if you've been here a while and I already know where you're from, share that because there are some new ladies who may be from another city or may be from your city and she would love, love, love to connect to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see you, Lavinia Clark. That's my girl. Consistency is her name. Hi, Lavinia. How was your May? Tell me how. I don't think I saw a post about your May, but I know she's chiming in from Hot Lanta. So it's good to see you, uh, Lavinia. I have someone who is chiming in from Woodbridge, Virginia. East Coast is representing. Sis, make sure you click the link streamyard.com slash Facebook and give that tool your name so that I am able to see who you are. If you are struggling, because I am not on Facebook, I'm in a tool called StreamYard. So if you are uh, having issues with doing that, just type your name at the end of your comment and I'll know who with whom I am speaking. Okay, Nicole is in the house. Miss Consistency, my name twin, don't be playing with y'all. She is here. Nicole, I don't think I saw your May recap. How was your May? How did you do? Okay, Lavinia said it was a challenge, but girl, it's always a challenge. It's just a challenge for all of us. So we are all here. We're all blessed to make it through. We are going to be jumping for June though, Lavinia, right? We are going to be focused. We are going to get it going. So all of the ladies who are watching, please go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know that you are there. Let me know where you are chiming in from. We got these East Coast sisters representing. Thank y'all so much for joining in. Miss Lisa Young, my boo. That's been my friend since high school. No joke. I've been knowing her since high school and she is in this group supporting. I love that. And getting all the weight loss in, friend. I love, love, love. Miss Maud. Miss Maud, my West Coast boo, is here. Hi, Miss Maud. So good to see you. I love when you're online. I see your little profile picture and it makes me smile. I'm so proud of y'all. Let me tell y'all a little bit about Miss Maud. Miss Maud has never meal prepped before last month. That was her first time meal prepping. Miss Ma, tell the ladies how many times you meal prep last month for the first time ever in her life. I don't know how old Miss Ma is, and I don't know if she cares about sharing. I know she's a lady of a particular age, like we all are. Um, but I'm so proud of her for stepping out of her comfort zone because you know how that could be in doing what you need to do to get things done. So ladies, listen, we're our sisterhood. We're not doing this alone. We're doing this connected. We're doing this with partners. We're doing this together. So don't feel like, right? Don't feel like you got to be at home by yourself because you're not, okay? And if you are, you're doing that because you want to, because you don't have to. All right, we have someone chiming in from Mur Murfreesboro. All right, Murfreesboro, who is that? Go ahead and leave your name. Let me know, let me know. Miss Cheryl Smith, hello, Miss Cheryl from Hotlanta. All right, Atlanta representing. <gasps> Look at Miss Maud. She is 67 years old and she meal prepped for the first time in May of 2022. If y'all don't help me celebrate Miss Maud, I'm so proud of her. Miss Ma, we're going to do two or three times in June, right? We're going to do two or three times this June. Nicole said she did really well in May, lost lots of inches, didn't report like I should have, but I did meal prep and followed the plan. Nicole, I'm so proud of you. When you are able to report formally, please do, because you know we like to celebrate. You know we like to congratulate. Girl, don't be in here losing and then keeping all the goodness to yourself. I'm so proud of you. All right. Hop in with Coach Twice Live, ladies, now, dear. Oh, she tagging people. Who is tagging people?
sure. I'm with you. Thank you, Facebook user, for tagging people. Rhonda Rippy. Hey, Ms. Rippy Rip. So glad. Oh my God, you joined the challenge. Congratulations on joining the challenge. We're excited, ladies. You can't see, we're excited, ladies. Now, listen, I want to know who in the house is tired of trying to get healthy, but then falling off the wagon. Tired of get trying to get healthy and then falling off the wagon. Who is tired of the yo-yo? Who is, raise your hand, type yo-yo if you are tired of the yo-yo. In fact, type no yo-yo if you are tired of the yo-yo. Type no yo-yo if you are tired of losing the same 10 pounds, the same 15 pounds, you're just tired of doing it. And you're just ready to learn a way that you can do this for life so that you don't have to feel all stressed and pressed. Who is tired of the yo-yo? Type no yo-yo. I'm looking for the no yo-yo ladies so that we could connect right this June because that's that's who I'm talking to this June is the ladies who are like nah uh -uh, I'm done with this okay because that that that's who I want to talk to so who am I talking to I am talking to Miss Cheryl Miss Cheryl is out here saying no more yo-yo Lavinia says no more yo-yo Miss Maud I know no Miss Maud is saying no more yo-yo Nicole is saying no yo that's what's up no we are not yo-yoing any more ladies we are going to jump start our june together and what i am looking forward to is you guys actually reaching the first level of your goal so you tell me during this call and i'm going to get into how the whole program works but i just want to know before we get all the way in what are your goals your weight loss and weight inches goals what do you hope to accomplish in these 21 days tell me now in the comments be bold declare it put it out there put that energy so we could all see it and so i could also tag you back on accountability okay so we're going to be transparent and accountable how many inches how many pounds are we looking to you to lose in these 21 days that we have together now realistically what is realistic is that we can do two to three pounds, right? So we can lose maybe nine, maybe 10 pounds before summer if we go all in. If we go all in. Do I have some ladies who are trying to go all in with me? Do I have some ladies who are like, I'm going for the three pounds a week and I'm looking for the 10? I'm, and if it's not pounds, honey, it might be inches. Do I have some ladies who are looking for the three inches a week? Who is in the three a week club, right? Who is in the three a week club? Ladies who are looking to lose a certain number of pounds by summer. Is that you? Is that you? So ladies, please share. How many pounds and how many inches are you looking to accomplish by the first day of summer how many pounds and how many inches all right so miss natalie says to weigh to so i don't know how many pounds and how many inches that is uh your birthday on june you should definitely report that you're a june baby we didn't know you was a june baby you know we like to celebrate so make sure you report on the birthday post that you are a june baby miss natalie so we can celebrate you on your birthday but how many pounds and inches are you looking to lose realistically Two to three pounds, two to three inches is realistic per week. But what I can tell you is ladies who have been eating not so well and then they decide to eat well, the first week on our plan, they lose anywhere between five to 10 pounds, five to 10 inches. I cannot tell you if you're going to lose inches or pounds because it's very specific to your body. Your body will tell you if it's a pound or a inch loser. And let me just tell you, if you are losing inches over pounds, you should celebrate because your body is doing this whole recomposition thing. So you may weigh the same, but them inches be fierce, seriously, fierce, sisters. So we need to be able to track those. We'll be talking about that situation here soon. But how many pounds, how many inches are we looking to lose by summer? That is what I want to know. That is what I want you to declare out openly in this group so we can hold each other accountable and hold our sisters to the standard that they should be held at. That is one of the problems, ladies, that we don't hold ourselves to the level of accountability that this deserves. 
right? We might hold ourselves to a level of accountability at work. Like we need to show up on time. We need to show up and, and, and submit that report. And we need to be sure that we are doing all the things that we need to do to help our customers, to help our managers, to help our teammates. We hold ourselves accountable for that job. But when it comes to our health, we are not hold, holding ourselves accountable. We are saying, I'm tired. We are saying, I can't do it. We are saying, I can't find solutions. We are saying all the wrong things. Sisters, I am looking for you to hold yourself accountable and I'm going to be helping you. And you're going to have a partner to help you all about accountability. So higher standards this June, higher standards, right? So if Miss Natalie is looking to lose six pounds, we're going to hold Miss Natalie accountable. If Miss Vanessa is looking to lose 10 pounds by summer, we're holding Miss Vanessa accountable. Miss Maud, 10 pounds and 10. 10, 10 is what Miss Maud, we are holding Miss Maud accountable. Communicate what your goal is here in the comments so that we are able to help support you as a sisterhood and encourage you. Don't be afraid to lean in because we are here to help you. I can tell you one thing, the ladies who did the best last month, right? The ladies who did the best last month were the most talkative, were the most communicative, were the ones who were posting and engaging in the group. It is not required to do that, but it certainly is encouraged. It certainly is supported. It is how we actually reach our goals is together as a sisterhood. So please, please, please. Let's see who else is in the house. Hey, Miss Sharon Mormon. Ah, five to seven pounds along with those inches by summer. Yes, baby. Okay. Lisa, 10 pounds, 10 inches by summer. Jackie, 10 pounds, eight inches by summer. One diva said 15 pounds and I can't see your name, sister, but I want to share with you. That is a big stretch goal because summer is in 19 days. So losing 15 pounds in 19 days is really hard. Losing 10 pounds in 19 days is really hard. But we can do it if we put our backs into it. I just want to say that. We can do it if we really focus, if we really focus on our nutrition. And some of us may not be able to reach our goals, but what we will find is what the problems are. And that is, that's a huge win. Even if you don't reach 10 pounds and that's your goal, but you figure out, oh, I was meal prepping all the wrong foods and I'm allergic to this or blah, blah, blah. If you are finding out what your issues are, that is helping you along the way. That is helping you along the way. So that is, that is everything. It's me, Elmo. Hey, Fred, my friend Tosha. What's up, girl? Go ahead and click. Make sure you share your name so that I can know that it's, that it's Tickle Me Elbow all here. She is hilarious. She had this picture of her where I'm not even going to go in the story, but me and, me and Elmo know what's up. All right, ladies, it is time. It is time to begin the planning process. If you printed your planner or if you have your electronic planner available to you, please type planner. How many of you have done that small, immediate task? of actually printing your planner. Please type the word planner if your planner is available, either, either electronically or it's available in printed form in front of you because we're about to do this together. You are not alone. We're doing this to have big air hugs to all the ladies who have goals, right? I'm here with you. I have, I have goals too, and I'm rocking with you. I'm posting every day. I'm encouraging you every day. So I just need you to hold yourself accountable because that's what this month is all about. High accountability, raising yourself up like you deserve more. You got to treat yourself with more. You got to give yourself more because that's what we're trying to do this month. It is a month of more for your health. It is not a month of, oh, I think I can. Oh, I'm trying. No, it is a month of I'm doing. I can't figure it out right now. So I'm going to ask a question. It is a month of, oh, okay. Ah, that didn't come out like it should have. What should I do differently? What should I do differently? That is what this month is about. It is about accountability. It's about failing forward. It is about doing all the good things to help support you, to help support your body, to help support your goals. Because listen, them 10 pounds not going to come just because you wrote that's what you want. Those 10 pounds are not going to come just because you signed up for this challenge. Okay. Those 10 pounds are not going to come just because that's what you desire. They're going to come because you're putting in the work because you are committed to the work and the work looks like what, what does the work looks like? 
The work looks like planning and thinking and preparing and self-love. That is what the work looks like. So let's get to work. Look at all the planners. Okay, planners. I see you. I see you, see you, see you. I'm so proud of all the ladies who have started this challenge off right because it is June 1st and we, how are you going to be slipping up on the first day, right? So you got your planner together and it is my hope that at the end of the 21 days that your belly is smaller. It is possible by the end of this, by the end of next week, your belly will be smaller. I, I can promise you that if you follow our plan, your belly is smaller, you're sleeping better, your skin is clearer, you're having more energy, you're not as bloated, your digestion is on point, you know how to eat clean, you know how to eat healthy foods. That is my goal for you, for you by summer. So we got a lot of information that we're going to be covering together. But guess what? I'm a project manager, sis. So I organize things and I keep them in a way that's easy for you to follow. So you don't feel overwhelmed or like you're lost or you're confused. That's my job to keep it simple, stupid, right? Keep it simple, stupid, Cole. We got, that's the KISS method, right? To keep it simple. So I am here committed to keeping things simple and sweet for you so that you are able to get things done. So we have our planners ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off, ladies, and I am going to open my planner. So let me share my screen. Let's go. It is, it is go time, sisters. It is go time, sisters. So I'm going to share my entire screen, actually, so you're going to see me doubly. And then what we're going to do here is go straight to my planner. I have my planner open. It's open somewhere. Let me find it. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. I will find my planner. It is open somewhere. Goodness, where is my planner? It's open somewhere. I don't see it. Huh. Hold on, sisters. Here we go. Here's my planner. I found it. Do you guys see my planner? Please let me know if you're able to see it here on the screen. Hopefully um, you can see uh, my planner here. Can you, can you see the planner? Hopefully you can. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to take a look at this page because this is the premise of how we work. The hello page is the basis of this challenge right? So I want you to be able to take a look at what we're going to be doing. We're going to plan. We're going to do one through five over and over and over again. We're going to plan our meals. We're going to track what we said we were going to do. We're going to track and say, okay, I said I was going to do this. Did I do it? Then at the end of the week, we're going to look back on what we didn't do so well and what we did do well. And then we're going to correct the things, right? So maybe you said you were going to meal prep in the mornings, but that don't work out like you thought it would. So we're going to make corrections and then we're going to repeat. So we're going to plan, track, reflect, correct, and repeat. We're going to plan it. We're going to track it. We're going to correct it. And we're going to repeat that cycle over and over again. Does that make sense to you guys? Does that make sense to you that we're going to be planning, tracking, correcting? right? Reflecting, correcting, and then repeating that. Does that make sense? That is the process that we are following all together. But before we get started with that, we have a commitment contract. Now you guys listen, this is the commitment contract that we've been using the whole time, but let me get off the screen real quick. Let me stop sharing real quick. So you guys saw the commitment contract. The commitment contract is in the planner and you can see it, right? You can absolutely see it. However, I have a new commitment contract for the month of June. So you can you can fill that one out. That one's great and good. It really is. It's the one that we always use. But I wanted us to do something different. So let me go ahead and share my screen again. Make sure that I have it open for you. Um, and what we're going to look at this time is we're going to actually look at the calendar. So let me go ahead and get that shared. Doing that now, sharing my screen. So I'm going to review the challenge calendar with you because I want you guys to understand. We're not just going to do. We're here to also understand together. So we're going to understand this. Hold on, sharing the screen again, but we're sharing something different. 
Can you guys see the calendar? This is the calendar for the challenge, the summertime fine 21 day calendar. So let's review this calendar together. Okay, I'm going to stop and come back just for a second. Let me know if you can see the calendar. If you can see the calendar, type the word calendar, right? I'm going to go back to the calendar because I'm sharing. Let me let me share a different way so that I can share I can see you and I can also see the screen. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Okay. Now I can see us both at the same time. Calendar. Okay, great. You can see the calendar. Today is June 1st. Today is live. Wednesday at 4 o'clock is our welcome live. That is what we see here on this calendar. This calendar will be shared with you, has already been shared with you in the Facebook group. I will show you how to get to it. Uh, I sent a video to you showing you how to get to it, but I will also show you during this call. OK, so this is today's live, you guys, and we're setting the we're setting the stage for a successful summer. We're setting the stage for a successful trek to summer. We're doing this all together. Jenny, Tasha, Jackie, Natalie, Lavinia, Tasha, Ma, Vanessa, Lisa, Cheryl. Listen, we're doing this together. So don't be scared. Don't be don't be hiding. Right. Be in the group. Be be present. Share with other ladies, share your food, share your meal, share whatever, because we are here to help each other, right? So we're doing this situation together. So much so that I only had one live scheduled for this week, but I really got into the material and I was like, you know what? I really want these ladies to win. I want all of them to win. So we're going to do two lives this week. Are you guys okay with that? If you're okay with two lives, type two lives. That means I am going to go live again tomorrow to walk you through material that you will otherwise have to read. I'm like, no, I think I should go live to help them understand how to meal prep and what we're meal prepping. We're going to be walking through the plan and putting together our meal plans together. Okay, if you are interested in doing that tomorrow, type two lives because I scheduled it, but I'm like, I wonder if they really want it. I don't know. I feel like it's what you need, right? Look at the two lives. Okay, sisters, we are going live together. We're going live together tomorrow as well. So make a note the same time tomorrow. I'm going to go live because you are you you said it was cool. You said it was OK. So that means I need all of you to show up tomorrow. So today we are live and then tomorrow we are live today. What I'm going to do is walk you through the program, how the program work, what you should expect. Tomorrow we are getting our nutrition plan and we are planning our meals together. You will not fail in this group if you follow the program if you follow the lives if you follow the guides that i placed in the group you're not going to lose you're not going to lose you're going to lose weight but you're not going to lose this challenge we're going to win and we're all winning together so alive today alive tomorrow and then because i'm going live tomorrow and we're doing our plans together i want you to on friday to post your plans Post your plans on Friday. If you heard me say on Friday, you're posting a meal plan before the end of the day, type meal plan. If you are committing to posting a meal plan on this Friday, June 3rd, type meal plan. Because we are following a system. We're following the Fit, Fine, and Fabulous system. We are planning, sisters, right? And I'm here to help guide you. I'm here to make sure that you get this thing right this time. Because remember, no yo-yo. We are not yo-yoing. So on Friday, June 3rd, I want your custom plan. Now I'm giving you plans, but I want you to be able to review what I give you and then take the time to go, hmm, do I like eggs? Do I want chicken? I want you to be picky. Because listen, we don't want you to go into the week with food you don't want. I want you to be able to analyze the food and determine if you like it. Yes, that is important to weight loss. You actually have to like the healthy food that you're eating. <laughs> so we're going to make sure of that. I am going to make sure of that. So I'm going to go live with you tomorrow. And then on Friday, I see all the meal plans. I see you, Miss Maud. Okay, Friday meal plan. Then on Saturday, in ladies who are new to Fit, Fine, and Fabulous, 
Saturdays are called Saturdays in here. Okay, on Saturdays, there's a lot going on. We have yoga in the morning. Oh my god, if you have never attended a Fit, Fine, and Fabulous yoga class, you need to get in the house. If you have never, it is restorative, it is stretching, it is all the relaxation you can stand. So on, sa on sa Saturday mornings, I couldn't even get it out. There is yoga. We start the day with yoga. But before you go to yoga, you need to report your stats. Meaning we need your measurements. We need your pictures. We need your weight. Now, I don't personally need it. I'm going to ask you to write it down in your planner. The free planner that I gave you. You're keeping it for you. So create a folder on your phone right now. Call it transformation on your phone. Like I'm not playing. Go on your phone right now. Create a folder. I have one already called transformation. And every Saturday I take pictures of my body and it's in my phone. It's for me. It's for me. So create a folder on your phone, call it transformation. And on Saturdays, we are taking our pictures. We are taking our measurements. You can also take a picture of your measurements and your weight and keep that in your phone. It is for you, not for me. It is for you. Okay. So if you are committed to Saturdays, please type Saturday in or st just type stat. Type stat in the comments if you are committed to June 4th, Saturday, before you do anything else. We are taking stats. It is before you eat, before you drink, before you go out. We are doing stats. Make a plan now. Please don't say, oh, I forgot I had Delta meeting. I'm sorry, I'm a Delta. You can say sorority meeting. Or, oh, I forgot my son has soccer. Mm -mm, we talking about it right now. And if you, you do have an activity that's happening on Saturday, here's what you do. Take your pictures and your measurements on Friday night. Plan for it. We are planning for success. It is how you win. As you think ahead, you look ahead and you think ahead, right? So on Saturdays, we are measuring ourselves. We are weighing ourselves. We are taking our pictures. And I see all the stats coming through. Miss Maud not playing with y'all. She doing it too. Okay, Miss Maud, Miss 67, Miss Maud, we see you. Also on Saturdays, we grocery shop. So if we're doing our Friday meal plans on Friday, then we're doing our grocery list on Saturday. Then, you know, on Sunday, we out here meal prepping, right? We're out here meal prepping. So let me share with you something about that sequence, right? So on Wednesday, I give you meal plans, right? I give you meal plans on Wednesdays. If you are a member, if you are a paid full-fledged VIP member of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous, you will still get a meal plan every Wednesday. For the divas who joined for the special summertime challenge, you already have all the meal plans. It's going to be in a document. You will already have it. You're getting it tomorrow. All of us are getting it tomorrow. But for the ladies who only joined for summertime fine, you will only have your meal plans in that document. So the ladies who are a part of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous VIP, full-fledged, I am taking some of the meals from the document, and I'm creating a meal plan in the diva hood that I recommend you guys follow for that week, right? You can choose to follow the meal plan I provide, or you can use the nutrition plan to create your own. It's all the same foods. I'm just taking a subset to create one plan. In the nutrition plan you receive tomorrow, you will receive so many options. I'm so proud of all the options you're going to get, right? But we'll talk about that tomorrow. The other thing that I want to say about meal plans is that you, my friends, if you are not able to meal prep on Sunday and you meal prep on Monday, do that. If you can't grocery shop in person and you use Instacart, do that. This is just our framework. This is our strategy, our, our way of doing things, right? I don't necessarily care when you do it. It's more that you do it. The only thing I care about when you do it is, is stats. 
they need to be done before we start the week of eating healthy. So if you can't get them done Saturday morning, make sure you get them done Sunday morning. But ladies, don't wait to the last minute and grocery stop, the grocery shop, uh, do your measurements, uh, meal prep, put the food away. You're going to be tired. That is why we break them out and do little pieces at a time. Okay. So here's the cadence again. Wednesday, I'm giving our VIP ladies, I'm giving our VIP ladies their meal plans in the diva hood, right? All the other ladies, you will already have all the meal plans for this challenge. Wednesday. On Friday, you are going to submit your version of the meal plan. Like she gave us this, but I want this. And it's going to be based on the meals I provide you. Don't be coming in with some meal plans from other places because I can't coach that. I gave you lots of options. If you have questions, ask your questions. I'm so, so, so here to help you, right? So on Friday, you're posting your own meal plans. On Saturdays, you are taking your journal and you are writing in your own stats. It is for you. You are also taking your pictures and you are putting them in your transformation folder on your phone. Now, if you've already created that transformation folder on your phone, type transformation in the chat. If you've already done it, now don't be lying. I'm talking about you that made the transformation folder and you didn't because I might I'm, I'm ask you for it. I'll be like, let me see. So you show me a screenshot of just the folder. I don't need the pictures inside. Show me a screenshot. Did you do? So go ahead, make that transformation folder and then type transformation once you're done. Then on Sundays, we are meal prepping. That is the cadence. Sisters, we're doing that cadence. We're doing that cadence every week. That is the fit, fine and fabulous way. That is the fit, fine and fabulous life cycle. Every Wednesday, you can count on me giving you a meal plan. Every Friday, I'm going to ask you for a meal plan. Every Saturday, I'm going to expect you to record your stats. The other thing about recording stats is in the group, we also share them. We share our wins. We say, oh man, I lost four pounds this week. I lost four inches this week. I lost an inch off my waist. Do not skimp. Do not skimp on measurements. Don't do that. Don't be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't take the measurements, but I took my weight. You are tripping. That scale is a liar. The scale will catch up with us by the end. But if you are not taking your measurements and your pictures up front, you are cheating your testimony and don't do that. Don't do that because of fear. Take the time to take the measurements. Do you need a measuring tape? Do you need a measuring tape? I have tons of them to send your way. Do you need meal plan contain meal prep containers? I have tons to send your way. Do you need a water bottle? Do if you need things, I have things. Okay, we're gonna talk about the tools on tomorrow too. But every Wednesday, every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, we doing things. We got commitments. We got weekend commitments this June, so we can look sexy by summer, so we can look less bloated, so we can look more ourselves. And we're going to continue this journey past summer as well, right? That's not going to be the end of our goals. We're just going to keep refining and doing it over and over and getting better. All right. So on Monday, we're going to begin tracking to our Diva Progress Tracker. That's what we're doing on Monday. And I'll share more about that. But I'm going to go live every Wednesday through the 15th. Every Wednesday, you're going to see me. And this week, though, like I said, I promise I'm doing two. I'm coming back at you tomorrow. I'm coming back at you tomorrow with another live so we can get deep into these meal plans so that you can understand how to do this every week on your own. And I'm going to continue to do videos to help support your journey because every last person on this live deserves to lose weight in inches. Follow what I'm saying and you will. But don't don't try to do it on your own again. Stop that. Stop that. We are here. We I've been doing this for 10 years. I know what works. Let me help you speed up the process of identifying what works, of identifying what foods taste good, of identifying all the healthy things, the, the meal plan structure. I got you. You don't have to figure that out. All you have to do is show up and do the work, sisters. Okay, every Wednesday, then tomorrow, every Friday, every Saturday. 
And then that's it, ladies. That's it. That is how we are rocking this June. That's how we're rocking this June. Now, I, what I need to know from you are two things. So I'm going to zoom in this thing some more. I'm going to zoom in some more. Hi, zoom in, y'all. Where's that? Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm going to zoom in some more. Zoom in. Okay. Can you read that? I'm going to zoom in one more time. This is for the ladies. So, oh, there we go. We're zoomed in one more time, sisters. Can you read this with me? I state your name. Okay, state your name. I, Nicole Twyman, am committing to meal prepping at least once a week. Are you committed? Type committed. Don't play me, sisters. Don't play me. Don't just be excited today. And then when it's time to do it, you don't do it. I am committing. I'm committing. I'm going to do it twice a week. So I'm going to cross out the once and I'm putting twice because I meal prep twice a week. And tomorrow we're going to talk about how I meal prep. And I want to hear about what works better for you. So join me tomorrow so we can break down how to meal prep. But today we're getting an understanding of this program. If you are committed, you are committing to meal prepping once a week. Don't play me, Miss Ma, and talk about you only did one time this week, this month. We're not doing that. It's time out. It's time out, okay? It's time out for cheating yourself. It's time out for cheating your results. It's time out for holding on to fat that should have let you go a long time ago. Let go of the fat. Release it. The way you release it is to eat less of it. How you eat less of it is you eat more protein. You eat more healthy carbs. You eat more veggies, more fruit. You drink more protein shakes. You get rid of it. If you are committed to meal prepping at least once a week, say it and you're committed. You are also committed to eating your prepped foods. Now, just because you prepped it, that don't mean you eating it, but you should, okay? We are committed to actually eating the food that we prepped. Or a healthy alternative, should you leave it at home? Because a lot of times, you know, sometimes we'll leave that, that food at home by mistake, right? And so you still have to have healthy alternatives. And if you don't know what that is, you post in the group. You post in the group. You let us support you. So eating your prepped meals, okay? That's another thing. Drinking at least half your body weight, at least. I'm going for the gallon. I'm going for the gallon every day, okay, every day. But I'm encouraging you to do at least half your weight, right? To recording your stats at least once a week. Once a week, recording your stats. Tracking your food, your water, and your mood because your mood, your mentality, how you think about things, it matters. Reflecting on your week and making adjustments once a week. If you are committing to this thing, Print this calendar, sign your name, post this calendar in the group. I want to see the commitments coming in on tomorrow, right? The, this calendar gives you a highlight of everything you can expect from Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. It gives you a highlight of all of our deadlines, and it also talks about the Fit Pot. So again, if you're committed to stick it to this calendar, because this is the way you get the 10 pounds. This is it. This is how we're doing it. This is the Fit, Fine, and Fabulous system. If you agree with this, if you're committed to this, type committed. And a lot of you have already typed committed. That is amazing. Now we want to talk about the Fitbit, the Fit Pot. Fit Pot was awarded already, right? I believe I awarded the Fit Pot to Miss Era Dotson. Sorry, not Era. Miss Era just texted me. That's my mother in law. That's hilarious. Her. <laughs> to Vanessa Dotson. Y'all help me congratulate Miss Vanessa. Congratulations to her. She won $120. How did she how did she win that money? From posting her stats. Ain't that something? She won $120 from simply posting her stats and being consistent. She did it every week and so she got $120. If you are interested in participating in the Fit Pot, let me explain how it works. So congratulations to Vanessa. Thank you, Miss Ma, for helping me celebrate Vanessa because she deserves it. She went all out. If y'all are in the group, y'all already know Miss Vanessa was killing it in May. She deserved that $120. We are proud of you, Vanessa. Now, I want someone else to rise up in June, though. 
okay i want someone else to rise higher in june though who is getting the money this time here's how it works you send in 30 dollars cash app to dollar sign fit fine fab let me go ahead and put that in the situation for you let me go ahead and put that in the situation uh dollar sign fit fine fab you send in thirty dollars to dollar sign fit fine fab and what happens there is I take your $30 and I double it. I am going to take your $30 and double it. So then it'll be $60. Then someone else will put in $30 and I'm going to double it. And then it'll be $120, right? So whatever the amount is at the end, right, goes to the person who is committed. The person who submitted their stats and lost the most weight and lost the most inches those three things so if only two people submit thirty dollars then that means it's between you and one other girl to win 120 dollars. that is what happened last month only two people entered right if three people enter this month 30 60 90 the pot will be 180 dollars. so you have a one and three chance of winning 180 dollars. i don't keep any of this money I don't want your money. I'm actually giving you my money because I'm doubling it. I am challenging you to put up $30 for your consistency. I am challenging you to bet on you to win in June. I am challenging you to participate in our fit pop because it's a form of motivation. It is a form of motivation. So if you're in for the fit pot, type fit pot in the comments. If you want to participate, type fit pot and send in your thirty dollars to dollar sign fit fine fab that fit pot is due it's due it's due it's due it's due hopefully we get to do it again because i love sending money on cash app friend i love sending you your money back plus everybody else money plus some extra money for me so hopefully we get some fit pot late some fit pot ladies joining in all right so that part is covered the calendar is covered all right, D, if you're joining the Fit Pop, make sure you send in your money. Let's see if we have any questions before we go on. Let's see if we have any questions. Someone asked, will we get a meal plan today? Today is Wednesday. Yes, you have already received a meal plan today. If you are a part of the full Fit, Fine, and Fabulous program, the meal plan was already shared. Let me show you. Let me show you. So the full Fit, Fine, and Fabulous plan also has, let me stop sharing here so that you can see, I am going to go to it so that you can see exactly what I am talking about. It has a membership site. We have a membership site for the ladies who are a part of the full program who are not wonderful guests. We're so happy that you guys are here. I'm going to be adding this video to this section as soon as we're done. But this is the website you get access to. Inside of it, you click on meal plans. And for the ladies who are a part of our full-fledged diva hood, here is your meal plan for this week. You click on the picture. It will open up and it will show you the plan for this week, right? So it's a smoothie, it's turkey and bacon, it's salsa burgers, and it's pineapple fried rice. Oh my God, that rice is so freaking good so this is the meal plan for the diva hood now it is taken from the nutrition plan that everyone will get everyone is getting the nutrition plan on tomorrow so you can look for the nutrition plan on tomorrow and you will have the nutrition plan which will cover the whole 21 days so if you are part of the diva hood I am taking certain meals from the nutrition plan and creating my recommended meal plan. This is my recommended meal plan for the ladies in the diva hood. If you're, you're welcome to follow it as well, but this is our custom uh, website that we have that includes our courses and also our plans. So the ladies who are a part of the, the diva hood, they're very familiar with this area. So thank you for the question, Leslie, your nutrition plan, if you are not a part of the full program, will be provided to you in the Facebook group. So now let's go to the Facebook group so that I can show you how 
to find your nutrition plan for the whole 21 days. So I'm going to go to the Diamond Diva Hood. Here's the Diamond Diva Hood. This is our Facebook group. Can you guys see the Facebook group? If you can, type FB. Type FB if you can see the Facebook group. Type FB for me. I think you could see it. So I'm just going to move forward. Um, so here at the top, you should see the word guides. Head on over to the word guides. That is where I am organizing everything, ladies. So everything I'm sharing with you right now is going to be in that guide section right? So even the challenge kickoff, do you see that? It says challenge kickoff. I'm putting a link to this video right there. The link to the planner that we're talking about is also there. A link to the calendar is already there. So print that calendar. If you click on that link, it opens up the calendar. You see all the things. I need you to sign that calendar. Sign that calendar and post it in the group. Sign that calendar and post it in the group. So everything for June 1st is here. Then we're going to move on to June 2nd. That is a new guide. So each day is a new guide. On June 2nd, right? That's what our calendar says. On June 2nd, we will have another live. And I will be reviewing your whole nutrition plan for the whole program on tomorrow. So be sure that you're on live because I really want to help you guys with your plans. Your success lies in your food. Your success lies in your food. Okay, so far so good. Does everything make sense? Do you like, okay, I understand. If, if you feel like you understand, type, I got this. If you have questions, ask your question. But if you feel like you're understanding the process, type, I got this. If you have questions, please ask questions because I so want to help you. Because listen, ladies, I've been doing this for 10 years and you see all the transformations that come through the group. This is the process they follow. And I need you to get on board with it. If we're trying to do these 10 pounds, we're doing it the fit, fine, and fabulous way, the healthy way, the sustaining way, the way that you can find your way back to it. If you fall off the rails, just always the system that you can follow to get you back on track. That is what we're establishing right now. I see all that. I got this. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much. Okay. So now we understand guides. I am going to be posting guides. So ladies who are a part of the VIP Diva Hood, you guys are used to the course and the lessons. I'm not doing that just challenge. I am putting it in the guide section. So your meals will be in the guides. Your meal plans will be on the site. But they also will be in the guides. So if you just want to focus on the guides, you can do that and you don't need the site this time around because we have guests we say welcome to our guests we're so excited that they're here and we want them to also make it we want to make it easy on our guests we don't want to make it all oh, here's the password here's the go all these different places no just come to the facebook group click guides and we're going to walk you through how things work all right ladies back to our planner almost done we're almost done almost done okay so we're going to go to our planner, the complete planner. And instead of this commitment contract, remember, we are completing a commitment contract of that calendar. That calendar represents it all. So that's what we're going to do. You can read these seven steps to Blake and Black Habits. You can do a vision board for uh, June if you like. And really all this is, is maybe just writing down some ideas that you have about what you want for June, you can cut pictures from somewhere. Um, and then it's a great reflective thing to do. But here's what we're really going to do right now. This is our goal right now. We want to think about our goals for June. Now, we already said we want to lose 10 pounds or 10 inches or however many things, right? By the end of this month, I will achieve the following health and wellness goals. Complete that. Complete that sentence, sisters, right now on your planner that you printed out or on that planner that you're completing electronically, complete that section. By the end of this month, I will achieve the following health and wellness goals. And who wants to share their goal? Is it that 10 pounds, 10 inches? Is it that I'm going to reach a gallon multiple days? 
what what is your goal what what goals are you looking to achieve i encourage your goals to include some of the things that we are doing for the month of course of course meal prepping watering sleeping working out those things right so we want to be sure that we are completing this by the end of the month i'll share with you mine and and it's really not even by the end of the month it's by summer it's by summer by the end of by the beginning of summer we, i can say that by the beginning of summer by the first day of summer i will have meal prepped every week i will have works out six out of seven days every week i will have achieved a gallon of water a day those are very specific and smart goals sisters saying i'm just going to lose weight is not a goal we want to be specific we want to break it down we want to say this is what i'm doing and this is how much of it i plan on doing so if i plan on meal prepping right if i plan on meal prepping every week the action number one that I'm going to take is make sure that I have meal prep containers. How can, how can, so that's what I'm writing right here. So ensure all my meal prep supplies are in stock. That's my action. I need to make sure my supplies are, are straight because some of my, um, some of my glass containers, I need to replace them. Some of my mason jars, I need to replace them. Right. So that's one of the actions I'm taking. I'm also going to be drinking more water. So I'm going to start drinking water as soon as my feet hit the ground. That is action number two, right? So I'm giving you examples of how to complete this particular page. You want you to write in your goals for the month. And then what are your actions? What actions are you taking to achieve that goal? And that is all we're doing for this page. We are writing down our goal and then six actions, six. We're going to keep going. You'll be like, oh, I got to write another one or what I'm, yes, do six of them. Be very, very, very specific. Very specific. Okay. That is what we're doing. This next page that we have on our planner has to do with a single focus commitment. What is one thing that you should focus on this month? What And I want to hear from you guys for this one. Type in the comments. What is one thing that if you don't reach no other goal, what one thing that you, what one thing would you actually do this month? What is that thing? If you don't do nothing else, you're going to do this. For the whole, all the way to number 21, because we're talking about 21 days, right? What goal, what's the single goal? What about water, Leslie? What about water? Let's be more specific. Water, we're going to increase it. We're going to drink 80 ounces by 5 p.m. We're going to be very specific because that is the problem with goals. We miss them because we're not specific enough for us to actually do them, right? So we're going to be very specific. So Leslie, Diva Leslie, let's be more specific. I want to hear more about your water goals. Okay, Jenny says adding exercise. All right, that's not a goal. That's a wish. So let's make it a goal. What kind of exercise are you doing? How long are you exercising? So let me help you, Jenny. So if it were me, I would say I'm going to lift weights 30 minutes, three times a week. That's a goal. That's a goal. And that is something we can check if we can check. But if I say I'm adding exercise, hmm, can't really can't really track that. So we're writing stuff on this page that we can actually track. I love that we are doing this exercise together. I love. Uh oh, who's this? Workout at least three days a week. She getting close. I love it. We're gonna say at least three days a week for how long? And then what workout? Do we not leaving it for chances? Right. If we were like, I'm working out on my Peloton or I'm going to the gym and working out with my trainer or like we're going to be super specific so that we can track it so we can track that thing. Tasha says, get my gallon of water and get my sleep. Gallon of water a day is one thing. Sleep is another thing. Choose one focus commitment on this page. What's the number one thing that you want to focus on? For me, I ain't going to lie. It's going to be that food. 
friend, I'm going to eat clean. If I don't do nothing else, I'm going to eat clean. I encourage you, as many of you who are listening to this, to make that your goal too. Because working out, sleeping, water ain't going to get you nowhere without food. If you've already mastered your food and you had your meal prep situated and you're like seasoning this, that's fine. But if you are struggling with food, I'm going to need you to make that your single focus. I really, really am. Is that your freak single focus? Okay. Drink half my body weight in water every day. Right, Miss Leslie? Come on, we getting there. Drink half my body weight in water every day. That is a goal. We're saying what we're doing, how much we're doing it, how often are we doing it? Come on, Nicole. Nicole said eat more protein. We got to be more specific. Ladies, I'm helping you create realistic weight loss goals here. Eat more protein. We're going to say I am going to eat at least five ounces of protein per meal. That's the goal. We are very specific. Goals are very specific. Or else you're and you're like, I don't really know if I I don't really know if I got it. Because you I I it's not a real goal, right? We're just saying stuff that we want to do. We have dreams and aspirations, right? But if I say I'm going to eat at least five ounces of protein at every meal, that is the same as saying I'm going to eat more protein, but one of them I can measure and the other one I can't really measure. We want to make a goal measurable. We want to make it measurable. Drinking my water is not a goal. Try again. Try again. Walking 30 minutes, four days a week. That's a goal. That's a goal. Love it, love it, love it. Strength exercises for 15 minutes, three times a week. Love it, love it, love it. Lisa, sleep six to seven hours. At least five. That's a goal. Ho, ho. We are tracking. We are tracking these real goals. Not eating after 7 p.m. So closing down the kitchen every day. Is it every day? Or is it how many times a week you doing this, Cheryl? That's a goal. Okay. Gallon of water a day. Okay. Every day? Are you doing this every day? Oh, my goodness. Sleep at least six hours per night. Is it how many times a week are you trying to how are you trying to do that, Jackie? Is it every day? All right, sisters. I think we're getting the hang of how to actually write real goals. So write your focus commitment here. And that is what you're going to be tracking. So this particular document is something that you need to have in front of you every day. Whatever that one thing is, for me, it's going to be eating clean. Did I eat clean today? Did I eat clean today? Did I eat clean today? That is what I, that's that's all I want to know. Nicole, did you eat clean today? <laughs> because without eating clean, it's not working out for us, sisters. Now, here is your monthly calendar. You guys see the monthly calendar? You can't see the whole thing because it's divided into two pages. And I guess I could put it side by side. Could I, I'm not going to mess it up because it might get all messed up. But side by side, right? So here is what we do with this monthly calendars, ladies. And we're almost at the hour. This is great because we're almost done. At the monthly level, what we are looking for is what is going to stop you from creating or achieving your goals. What is going to stop you this June from reaching your goals? So what I mean by that is, do you have a happy hour? Write that on here. Do you have a birthday party? Write that on here. Is there a graduation? Is there a recital? Is there a, a late meeting? Is there an all-day seminar? Are you traveling? Are you on vacation? Anytime between now and the end of the challenge, write that on this calendar. When is your anniversary, Jenny? Write it on the calendar. Write it on the calendar. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make plans around what life already has. Too many times, too many times, we say we want to do a thing, but we don't think about what life really has going on. We say we want to lose weight, but we didn't We didn't think about in two weeks we're traveling. What are we going to do about that? We didn't think about, oh, it's my anniversary. What you going to do about that, right? So we need to be able 
So ladies, on the June monthly calendar layout, write down your anniversary, write down your birthdays, write down the days that you already have planned to work late. Anything that you think could come in between you and your goals. So on the 23rd, Nicole has an anniversary. On the 21st, Jenny has an anniversary. That is the last week of our challenge. Okay. Those two ladies are having last week's. And so what we would need to do is decide, right, that we're going to be real good leading up to that. So we can look our sexiest for those dates. And also, we want to be able to come up with alternative ways, right, to be healthy in those spaces if that's what we desire. But that is the purpose of this monthly goal, this monthly calendar. Now, remember, there are also some other dates on the overall calendar. So you can either take this calendar and use it, or you can use the calendar I gave you with the commitments, right? This is just a part of the planner. So what I would encourage you to do is take the calendar that I showed you with all the commitments and put anniversary on there, right? Make that calendar your own. Print it out, put it on the wall. And if you don't like paper stuff, Put the dates in your phone. Put the dates in your phone. Tasha got a wine tasting on the 11th. Put that thing in your phone on your calendar. I prefer paper because I can see how it, I can count how many weeks. I can see everything. This is your health calendar. Your health calendar. So if you got a wine tasting on the 11th, you got to think about, well, how much wine am I going to drink? How much cheese am I going to eat? How many crackers am I going to consume? You got to think about that thing ahead of time leading up to that because the 11th is a Saturday, right? So that's good because you will have already done all your hard work. You would have reported your stats already. So maybe you enjoy your, your Saturday at the wine tasting, but then you come back hard on Sunday and Monday. We're making a plan ahead of time. You might say, I'm going to go and hang out with my girlfriends, but I won't partake because I don't want to mess up my games. You, it's up to you. But the fact is, is we have to think through all the things that are coming our way. What happens is, is we don't spend time doing this. And that is why you yo-yo. I am trying to prevent you from yo-yoing. It requires thought. It requires you to plan. And I know we don't like to do this. We don't like to do it. Leslie says she has something every weekend. Okay. Well, you got to decide, Miss Leslie. Which one do you want the most? Do you want this weight loss? Or do you want to be for the streets? We're going to be for the streets. Oh, we want the weight loss. We could be for the streets and the weight loss, but we have to be strategic about it. So you got to think about, okay, where am I going this weekend? How can, can I bring my food to this one? Do I know what food they're served? You got to really want it, Miss Leslie. If you have something every weekend, you got to choose to be for the streets and be healthy or choose to be healthy at home. We got to choose it right? And if you need help, that's why I'm here. If you decide this week, I'm for the streets and I'm healthy. Help me out. Here, here's, you got to tell me where you're going, tell me what you're doing and all those things, right? And then I can help you out with that. But what we shouldn't do is go there blind talking about, I'm trying to be healthy, but I don't know. No, ma'am. The streets going to win. The drive through streets going to win. It's good. They're going to win. So you cannot allow that. You know, that law, that pull for the fast food is strong. We can't allow it to win. Can't allow it. Okay, sisters. So that is the monthly calendar situation. Do I have any questions? Do I have any questions? Here's your Saturday form that you're completing on Saturday, but we will be talking about this on Saturday, right? Uh, you could plan the workouts that you're actually going to be doing every week. I gave you a fitness planner. You can say for this week coming up, like today, rest of this week, you can do Thursday through Friday. And write your goals. You have a diary there. Here's your meal planner. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Here's your grocery list. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And on Monday, we're going to talk about this wonderful diva planner. This is what we're going to be tracking 
our results with, right? Your meals that you ate, the water that you drank, the workouts that you, all the planning we're sitting here doing, talking about I'm going to do five workouts six times a week. Okay. Well, when you do work out, put a check there. When you do drink your water, put an X there. And then we are able to go back and look at the week to see how successful we were. We cannot win if we don't measure, right? We have to be able to measure our results. So that means we have to create goals that allow us to measure. So it starts with good goals. It does not start with just your desire to lose weight. No, ma'am. No, sir. You have to also be organized enough to create good goals and then track those goals. I'm here to help y'all. I'm here to help. Nicole says, mother-in-law birthday is this weekend. We're going to Olive Garden. I will have super salad and I know I will most likely have a breadstick. Well, she's playing on her breadstick already. Okay. That's, that's, that's a choice, right? That's a choice to make, especially if you're saying I'm going to have one. But a sister like me can't have one because the breadstick turned into other things for me. So you have to know yourself. If you're able to limit yourself, oh my God, go for it. But I can't. And not only can I not limit myself, <laughs> I have digestion issues. So if I say I'm going to have a breadstick, I am going to be digesting that breadstick for about two weeks. So it's not just about the weight loss. It's also about how, be how big your belly look, how bloated you are, all the things. So we have decisions to make. We're either committed, we're either all in, or we're kind of in, or we're making a just. What kind of June are you having? Because it is summertime, I get it. But I'm asking you to commit for 21 days, no bread, no sugar, no cookies. That's what we're committing to. We're not halfway in, halfway out. You know, we're all the way in. That is the commitment. And on those special days, special days, like when Nicole has and Jenny has, you guys have, uh, Nicole has an anniversary and a birthday. Girl, you got to choose. You can't do both, right? We're going to have to choose which one we're going to invest our energies in. But this is the process. I am so happy so many of you logged in today. I hope you enjoyed this live. If you did enjoy this live, please click like, click love, share with me what you enjoyed about this. Let me know if you have any questions, right? So here are your, here's your diva assignment. Your diva assignment is to make sure that you printed your planner if you haven't already. Make sure that you print your calendar. On your calendar, I want you to sign your name because you are committed to that calendar. You're committed to that calendar. If you have a birthday, like Nicole has an anniversary, Jenny has an anniversary, Nicole has a birthday going on. If you have something happening, write that on your calendar, on your calendar and sign your name. Decide, decide sisters, how are you going to handle it ahead of time? I am here to help you handle it. This is handled. That's what we're going to say. This is handled. We walking in that thing in power. Okay. Right. So we're going to decide to be healthy. So print your calendars, sign your calendar, get your planner going. And then tomorrow you will have, you will have at the top of the day, you will have your nutrition plan. I want you to print your nutrition plan and I want you to attend my live tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to be just as hype, but we're going to be talking about food and we're going to break down the meals that are available to you and help you structure a plan that's going to work for you this week, next week. We're going to work for you next. Why am I doing all of this? This is insane. I don't know where all that come from. That's the water. Give you all the energy. But anywho, ladies. I'm so happy that y'all are here. I'm so happy that we kicking off another challenge, boo, because we got pounds and inches to lose. We got confidence to gain and we got yo-yos to break. We breaking yo-yos. Hashtag yo-yo breaking joke. That's what we doing. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this live. Like, leave a comment. Let me know. It's always helps me to know if I've helped you in a way so I can. It helps me adjust my next live as well. So please do leave a comment. I'll see you ladies again on tomorrow, but I'm looking 
for your calendars on tonight and tomorrow morning. See ya.